Last year, the Indy 500 ran in August with no fans in attendance. That all changes tomorrow. Keith Murphy has more from the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. The greatest spectacle in racing is the world's largest single day sporting event in the world's largest sporting venue. How big? Well, it's hard to process. The cars lap the two and a half mile oval in 38 seconds, so it doesn't seem like it's that big. And then when you come here and you come inside and you realize it's a mile long by a half a mile wide. I mean, that, it is just a massive, massive facility. And then all of the seats, that is the thing that hits people the most when they first get here. And I don't know how you really describe it other than you just have to experience that the first time you come in and it just hits you that, oh my gosh, the Indianapolis Motor Speedway is huge. It's almost like a state fair, if you want to put it, put it that way. Just all the activities, the food, and, and every corner is something a little different. The entire property equates to 500 football fields. Inside the track, you could fit all 14 Big Ten football stadiums or, from left to right, Jack Tri Stadium Complex, Grays Lake, State Capitol Complex, Kinnick Stadium, the Lordston Skate Park, Drake Stadium and Knapp Center, Principal Park, Iowa Event Center, and Wells Fargo Arena. There's all these major things in it. It's like a city. It's so large, and it's really hard to comprehend, even when you're there, because you can't see it all. Extreme big, <laughs> but, uh, you know, the, uh, there's a lot of history, and to be able to uh, visit it all in one day really is hard to do. The Indy 500 reaches people in different ways, but for so many, once they experience it, they don't stop. And it is much like a, a sports following or a university following. And when you grow up in a household that loved the Iowa Hawkeyes, you end up passing that down. It's like the Indy 500. I grew up in a house where my dad loved the Indy 500 and his dad loved it, and now my kids love it. I came here as uh, an 11 year old to watch time trials, and I've been hooked ever since just the speed and the sound and just the everything about Indy is magical. Last year's race was run in August with no fans. This Memorial Day weekend, 135,000 fans return, which is just 40% of capacity here at the Speedway, but will be the largest gathering at a sporting event anywhere in the world since the pandemic began. At Indianapolis Motor Speedway, Keith Murphy, WHO 13 Sports. Keith, thank you. Another local angle. Santino Ferrucci will drive the high V45 car for Ray Hall Letterman Lanigan Racing. Ferrucci is just 22 years old and finished fourth in last year's Indy 500. Ferrucci and his cardboard cutout, seen with a smile in many aisles, attended a pre race party at historic Crane Bay. Ferrucci's teammate, Takuma Sato, won last year's Indy 500.